What'd you think of that right there? What'd you think of that? You're laughing because it's true. You know what I mean? And there's no lying on this show, man. I. <laughs> Yo, what's up, YouTube? My name is Chisha Zed. Welcome to another episode of the No Cap Show. Guys, I've got some more episodes coming in the future, so make sure you guys subscribe so that you can not miss one. Today, we've got a new guest here with us today. Um, please introduce yourself to the people. But before we get into it, guys, don't forget to beat up that like button the same way Tyrone beats it up. While a girl is home and her simp boyfriend is working a 12-hour shift plus overtime, let them know your name, your age, and where you're from. Okay. Um, hi, guys. My name is Danisha. Um, I prefer Nisha, though. Um, I'm 28 years old. I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York. Um, I just moved out to L.A. a few months ago. So. Okay. How you like in L.A.? For the most part... Um, can't go wrong when you see the weather <laughs> yeah who can't go wrong when you see the background it's just sunny it's just la's good you know, man la's good especially that weather calm breeze for sure my new my, my slogan that i came up with calm tree it's the calm breeze and the palm trees for me okay that's what's up man okay so here's the thing i'm gonna ask you one question because i know you know what we're gonna talk about so i want to get this question out of the way first what's the worst way a guy has ever approached you yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> because I'm 28 and I've been like so. My body has developed at a young age, mm -hmm. so I've heard it all from young to old. Yeah. Um, but the worst, the worst way a guy's approached you. <laughs> the worst way a guy's approached me is that he's chased, literally chased me down, like on the um, on the subway. Oh no. So like, I moved to one cart and then like he moved to another and I moved my seat and he moved another and he just kept following me and I'm just like, all right, what are you doing? And he's just like, oh no, I think you're really, and I'm just like, okay, but what you're doing was a little old putting, it was creepy, like, yeah. you know, maybe fear for my life just now, so. That's crazy, man. Did you give him your number? Okay, so no. you don't, you don't, you don't no. like crazy, I don't know, man, you'd be surprised, some girls like that, you know what I mean? Like, scare me. <laughs> no, I say no, no, no. Honestly, the only thing that I would say that I do like was like, for instance, my ex boyfriend in high school. He um was like, I asked him for his number. He didn't have a cell phone at the time, but he pulled out a piece of paper and a pencil. And that, to me, that was like authentic. Okay. And it was still, like, Old school. Exactly. Okay. So I was like, got you. Yeah. Got you. So guys, I sent um. If I, should I call you like niche or a um, niche? Yeah, niche. niche okay. right. Thank you. No problem. I sent Niche um, the meme that we're going to be reacting to today. So basically, this meme is of um, a girl and a guy. I'm sure you guys have probably seen it because I've shared it on my community post a few times, actually. It says how females shoot their shot. The first picture is like of her staring at him. The second picture is of her staring at him. And then the last uh, picture is her saying, whatever, his loss. And what do you think of that right there? What'd you think of that? You're laughing because it's true. You know what I mean? And there's no lying on this show, man. I <laughs> No cap. Because you know what? I'm going to sit here and not say that I don't do it, that I have not done it. Um, <laughs> You've done it. I've done it. And the only reason why I say I've done it because honestly, I don't like to be rejected, if that makes sense. Okay. So, I have, I, I've, so to be honest, I've never been uh, the, the out spoken one so i've never seen a guy i'm like oh he looks mad good and i'll oh hey can i have your number well, i'll get to know him like i've never been that type i've always been approached okay so more or less it's like i still it's like in the back of my mind it's like i don't want that nerve like that 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 idea like okay you're coming up to me but you're gonna be like mm, no nah, I'm, a, I'm a pass on you i don't i don't like being rejected that's just me okay so do you, you did you think that that was on point then that like that's more your style is just to like look at the guy for like, I don't yeah, know, like, like three seconds. At you? <laughs> so tell me this, man. Why do women have no game? No game at all. I feel like, honest, all right, so honestly, I feel like for the most part, time, I believe in time. The times have 
kind of adapted, um, not adapted, shifted how women have been. Like, I, uh, for the most part, a lot of men have been the ones to initiate their relationships mm-hmm. and, you know, um, get women to be interested in them. I feel like for women, we because we're so like laid back to like we know we got that guy he gonna come and get us like we don't, that's we true. don't i think that's the, the the idea that we have got that you we always have. so we you, know you're kind of are you kind of saying like they don't approach because they really don't have to some do i feel like some i feel like yeah i do i do yeah that, I, I mean you I, said I agree, you said you don't approach i can agree that some do say like i can agree on one of those that I don't, I want to approach or I am the one that is just like, because I know I don't have to. Not saying you, because you know, you don't have to, I know I don't have to, but okay. not in terms of personality, not in terms of, um, per, uh, sorry, uh, appearance and more or less in personality or in, per, in terms of vibes or in terms of, you know, just all first, Ma- you, first initial what reaction. About, there's nothing wrong with saying appearance too. No, because <laughs> Playing no, the home card. I, I feel it. I feel it though. That's good. But I'll say this. I'll say this. I'll say this. I'll say this. I think most women don't approach. You know what I mean? In most times, I tell guys that like, because I talk about this, they don't want to approach. Number one, women can't stand rejection. They hate rejection. They can't recover from it, man. You reject a woman, she's gonna think of that shit for like two years. That's one. <laughs> and like the the other the other thing is like women send out choosing signals. You know where they look at you. But see, that's a bad one. Like the looking at you for a while, it's it's weird because now because I'm looking at me. If I see you looking at me, if I'm looking at you a specific way, I feel like women say we we look at men a specific way, especially the ones that we like. Mm-hmm. If we looking at you a certain way, we're like, okay, you see me looking at you. I feel like you should just be <laughs> you should catch the the come the hither look. You want him to read your mind. <laughs> Okay, so so let's do, let's do this. Let's do, if you had to approach a guy and like actually like you know spit some game, what would you say? Let's say like he's at the bar or something like that. What would you say? I thought this would be a funny question. Um, hey, how you doing? Um, did you see last night's game? Okay, and then spark up conversation from there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you're gonna assume that he he, he watches sports, right? That's it. Got you. (laughs) (laughs) Oh man, that's cool. I mean, it's all right. It's all right. Would you like, like, buy him a drink? I would. I would. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind it. I would. I wouldn't mind it. I don't see the issue with that. Honestly. Got you. Yeah, I tell I tell guys not to buy drinks. (laughs) No problem. I tell guys not to buy drinks. Not to approach girls if they're not choosing. It's just a bad (laughs) idea. You know, it's just a bad idea. Um, cause if you're code approaching, you don't know what's going on in her head. She has to be giving you signs that she's feeling you. No, that is true. That is true. I feel like a lot of men don't read the signs of women. So like, for instance, if say for instance, we go on a date and the, the, the vibe is good, conversation is good and no, everything is just flowing, flowing. A guy will then mess that up by saying or initiating, Hey, what are you doing after this? Or, you know, um, do you got a plan on you know staying somewhere tonight? So, you know something along that those is, lines that where is, they mess that up. is very very true that is like on point and then it shatters you're, and then you're, you're talking like, about like the same night he meets he's trying to do something with her the, the same night yeah see exactly. when, when that's that's a good thing you brought up because when a guy does that a woman now thinks oh what you've got nothing going on for the rest of the day like or she thinks you're thirsty you know what I mean so yeah you got to show a little bit of restraint you know, that's part of the game exactly. and take a, take a couple of exactly. days to hit her, let her forget about you and think that you actually forgot about her. You know what I mean? Till she picks up and she's like, Oh wow. Okay. What's up? And then when she does that's pick up, one. you just check up on her. You don't even ask her out. Then you just say, just want to check up on you. See if you're doing good and hang up the phone. Cause most guys, man, they're thirsty. They can't wait. You know, you already know what they want. And so women are attracted when a guy can show that type of restraint, man. That is extremely true. Um, I, I say now, if anyone, uh, the, like when a guy is very eager to wanting to meet me, mm-hmm. I feel like it's a setup. <laughs> I feel like, like, what is the reason why you're so eager to meet me? Like, we haven't even, you know, having to have a decent conversation. We haven't, you know, got to know each other. 
You just but you, you're really eager to. Because he wants to smash. That's it. That's it's it. just like. Yeah. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna leave you alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, if he, if he looks desperate, he looks thirsty, and that's how you. <laughs> exactly. um That's how you don't get the girl. Um, at the end of the day. So, I'll say this. The other thing too that a lot of women don't realize is like, in this day, like today, in this time, it's real difficult because you got to be careful. You know, like guys would rather today go on dating apps instead of approach women in person because they don't want to get hit with like, you know, harassment stuff. And I'm not going to say the actual word because, you know, the YouTube algorithm is going to um, pick on my channel. But you know what I mean? Like, that's a big issue, you know? Yeah. I feel like that right there kind of sets back. Like I said, the whole tra- the old traditional way of how... Um, my grandparents used to do it. You know, we didn't mm-hmm. have cell phones. We didn't have dating. They didn't have, I'm sorry, not we, but they didn't have dating apps, cell phones, or, you know, internet access to where they could sit here and, you know, look online and say, oh, I want to, you know, see if I can meet this person or meet that person. Mm-hmm. You know, you had to go out and do it the old fashioned way to where you meet someone. You never know what their likes or dislikes are. Yeah. You know, op- you know, just to be open to meeting new people, I feel like we, in today's, in today's society, is a, it's, it's kind of a, a downfall. The balance and power of in men and women are a little scale. The scale is completely off. Um, I say men and women are like yin and yang. You yeah. can't have you know you can't have a, a you know a healthy relationship without a man or a woman. You know you can do things that I can't do. A man can do things that I can't do. Mm-hmm. So I say you know the one one hand washes the other hand. You know until men and women understand that there's there's no competition that you guys are on the both same level of playing grounds. The I will, it will, it will always be a clashing uh, a clashing powers because for some reason this balance of power that women think they have now, equivalent to men is is detrimental long term. If you if you okay, I feel me. like you're saying something deep there. So you're talking about this uh, power that women think they have today. Mm. Even with the like, like, even like you said, even with the whole women expecting men to read their minds, we have mm-hmm. this like this. I feel like we have this sense of entitlement. How, it's yeah, sense of entitlement that like you know we don't have to do but so much, and I feel like mm. it's that's wrong mm. because if you think back, let's let's take it back. If you think back to hunting and gathering days, the mm-hmm. husband went out, he he caught the the whatever he caught. He brought it back. She brought it back to the house. The yeah. wife made did her part. He did his part. She did his part. Her part. Mm-hmm. So whereas now they both coincide and it it meshes well completely. So that's very true, man. A lot of women today they feel like they don't have to do shit for a man because they feel like they're the prize. And it's funny because there's a lot of guys that buy into this shit too, man. Like the Sad. simp's out here buy into it you know they treat women like queens and you know you can say what you want about that i think that's whack you know what i mean at the end of the day you should treat a woman how she deserves to be treated that's how i say it and women respect um men who make them earn good treatment and men men have learned too man like i had to learn at one point that i'm conditioned most men today are conditioned to be simps they just are you're conditioned to um you know, play the dumb guy in the relationship, you know, happy wife, happy life type situation. You know, you I don't even agree with that statement. I hate that statement. A lot of people do. Yeah, a lot of people do. But you know, there's a lot of guys out here like, oh yeah, you know, she's a queen. I'm like, nah, bro, you don't even know that chick. You're calling her queen. A lot of these chicks out here do not do queen stuff. You know, if if you know um, how they're moving and treating themselves like with the lack of self-respect. I'm not telling people how to live. I'm saying there is confusion and everybody's confused, you know, and nobody's tapping into their natural place of men into their masculinity, women into their femininity. It's just a mess and confusion. No, I um, agree 110%. Even into even <laughs> it's crazy you say that because it's like this is it was supposed it was a post that said it's it's a little bit harder to soften yourself when you had to be tough for so long. And I feel like a lot of women who have, you know, grown up in single parent households or have, you know, you know, grown up, uh, grew up by themselves, um, had to be tough or had to build a tough exterior in order to sit here, you know, 
and you know to be protected to protect themselves because they had no one else to protect them yeah so i feel like for the most part a lot of them are trying to break down that tough masculine you know that i want to say masculine in quotation marks because some of them are still feminine and i'm going to say some of them because i'm also speaking for myself Mm -hmm. so it's to break that wall is a little hard when you've always had to fight you know just to have that tough skin you know to not get walked over you know taken advantage of you know situations like that even <clears throat> even for guys, man, you know what I mean. It's 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 if you haven't been raised with a strong male presence and role model in your life, then deciding to fight back against the narrative that like, oh, your masculinity is bad, and you're like, no, my masculinity is good. Let me be on my shit. Let me be on my purpose. Let me get up in the morning, hit the gym, improve my life, make more money. That's difficult too. Nobody gets it easy. Not me- no man nor woman. You know, and I know women say that because I've had them say, you know, it's difficult. Give us time. I'm like, cool. Um, that's cool. But uh, men don't get that privilege of time either. So the best thing you can do is just like keep working on yourself personally, myself personally. Everybody just needs to take this message of like embracing um, your um, natural self serious- seriously. But even that to be able to piggyback off of that. Um a lot of people also don't look at the morals or the values or the principles that a person holds. So when you're dating someone or you're you're pursuing someone to date, yeah. you're probably just looking at their appearance. And I'm not saying you personally, but I'm saying like people just look at the outside appearance. They just see, okay, you got nice clothes, you got nice shoes, you got this, how much, you, oh, you're driving this car, you're driving, you know. But they don't look at how a person carries their morals and their men in, in their, in their, uh, 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 values how they carry themselves and values yeah right. yeah and how they carry themselves a lot of people uh just like to look at the surface and don't like to see deep with with deep with what's within yeah. someone else which is why you have a lot of uh feel not so much fair relationships but why you have so many relationships that are just happening just to be happening because when you when people don't look at both people and don't realize that how can I have, how can I love this person if they don't, their morals or their values don't align with mine? I'm not saying more or less they have to match up 110%, but you have to be one, you have to have some type of good moral standing mm-hmm. in order to be in a relationship with me, if you get what I mean. Yeah. Like, my, old, my, old, my mantra when I was, like, I've always uh, lived it with this, do unto others as you want others to do unto you. And I've heard that all my life since second grade that that mantra has been in my head do unto us as you want us to do unto you and it hasn't really resonated with me until i got older to realize like okay i'm not gonna do something Mm -hmm. if i don't want it done back to me which i say that in relationships if i'm not gonna want to if i don't want to be cheated on or i don't want to be hurted or anything like that hurt i'm not gonna sit here and do that to you Mm -hmm. or i'm not even gonna even allow myself to even uh entertain or put myself in a situation to deal with that yeah. See, that's a lot of people don't. That's a lot. That's what a lot of people don't as, do as well too. They don't give the chance to see um, how how people interact or how people act when certain situations occur. They'll just wait until the situation occurs and then think they can change that person once the situation arrives. Yeah. So I'll say I'll say this. I, um, there's two things <clears throat> happening based on what you just said right there. Women are chasing um, a, a delusional type of guy. Like they want this tall dude making all the money. This. And every girl is chasing that guy, and men are just chasing ass. And both of those lead to destruction. They lead to your your life just falling apart. And if you're not gamed up and understand how this life works, woman will ruin your life. A man will ruin your life. That's just how that's gonna go. You know what I mean? But hey, I appreciate you, man, for coming on here, and keeping it no real, keeping it real, niche. I appreciate it, man. Hey guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor and hit that like button down below. Also, make sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you guys thought of the content and I have more coming. So if you're not subscribed, I have a goal, 30K subscribers by my birthday, December 1st. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Nish, appreciate you. Thank you so much. For sure. I appreciate it. I definitely uh, look forward. If next time you don't need to guess, let me know. Hey, guys. I'm out. Until next time. Peace. Bye, guys. Nice seeing you.